Just be out with us to the Maldives. It's been my bucket list, dream destination, and it exceeded all the expectations. Absolutely. And in this video, we would love to share with you some things that you need to know before coming to the Maldives. And you're definitely going to want to stick around because you need to know these things before coming. <laughs> if you're new to our channel, my name is Irina. And I'm Devon. And we're Just, Just Be, Be out. out. We create informative travel videos to help you get the most out of your vacation. Just, Just Be, Be out, out with us. us. What you need to know coming to the Maldives, if you are planning to stay on local islands at all, you need to know that Friday is a big holiday for them. They pray in the morning and a lot of restaurants and shops are closed till 1.30 p.m. and sometimes Saturday as well. So sometimes it would be difficult on Friday to find food or if you need to purchase anything specifically on Friday and sometimes on a Saturday. And after 1.30 p.m. it is pretty busy because after the prayer a lot of people go out and enjoy their day. So anywhere you go it will be busy after that. While here in the Maldives we were actually thinking before coming here well okay we have to figure out the money exchange and wait should we exchange at the airport but then they say sometimes no the airport is not good to exchange money you should go in the local town and then exchange you get a better conversion rate and you know what I'm talking about right well here you don't have to worry about none of that they actually gladly accept US dollars but if you need change they will give it to you in their local currency which is Maldivian Rufia this is for ladies specifically when coming to the local islands in the Maldives be sure to bring your tampons here you will only find pads but no tampons whatsoever and even coming to the resort a small pack of OB will cost you 15 US dollars so be sure to bring your own supply when you come to the Maldives, it is the law not to wear bikini or revealing clothing in public. For tourists, they have specific designated beaches. They are called bikini beaches. Or sometimes you can even see it on the map. It's called tourist beach. And throughout the beach, you will see the sign where it says strictly prohibited to wear a bikini. So I suggest you respect their laws and their religion and only wear a bikini in the designated areas. Okay, let's talk about when it's time to spend that money, whether rufias or on a card or in US dollars. Well, most places when it comes to resorts, they widely accept credit cards. No problem, right? Well, when it comes to a local island like here on Digora, some places only do cash, no credit card. But here's the kicker. Some places will only take US dollars. But the thing is, there is one bank ATM on this island. And if you go to use your card to take money out, guess what currency it'll give you? And if you guess US dollars, you're wrong. It's Rufia, so make sure you have some of that US dollars with you. It's widely accepted. And when it comes to using your credit card, just know that some places will charge a fee. Some places. Maldives is a very religious country. And coming here, you need to make sure you respect their religion and abide by their rules. We actually created a video for Maldives do's and don'ts. But quickly, when coming to local islands, to maybe stay in Mali, in Hulu Mali, make sure you wear your outfits appropriately especially when it comes to women cover shoulders and knees and a lot of times when you're on this island right you're on vacation you're in vacation mode if you're in a tropical island the first thing you want to do is you know grab a bathing suit top and maybe just throw up shorts on under it or something like that but just keep in mind you know certain you know maybe shoulders shouldn't be out and if 
you're a woman with just a bathing suit top and shorts, that might not be appropriate. You might have to cover your shoulders. Mm -hmm. So it's just these little things that you need to pay attention. And if you're not sure on how the way you're dressing, whether or not if it's, it's appropriate, mm -hmm. just speak to the reception in your hotel or if you're staying at a guest house, just ask the owner, is it appropriate what I'm wearing to be walking on the beach? But ladies, there are so many light dresses and cover-ups like this that are just respectful to the locals and covering enough but still looking really beautiful and light. And of course once you get to the beach area, the bikini beach area, you can take it off, just not all off. There are close to 1200 islands here in the Maldives and island hopping is really a must. We've been to quite a few islands already while staying here for a month and we want to visit way more of course. But the funny thing about island transfers is that a lot of times you would have to go back to Mali to the capital of the Maldives and then uh, transfer on another boat to reach another island or another atoll. If you want to just go straight from one island to another island, maybe to another atoll, that might cost you a lot. You would need to book a private speedboat, but all the islands are spread out so much that you actually to some islands you would need to take the local airlines and fly there for an hour and a half if there's one thing to know on local islands they are everywhere but not only local islands because we have been on a couple resorts where they have been mosquitoes but the difference is on resorts they will treat the island that way the guests are not being eaten alive but on local island a lot of the guest houses and the boutique hotels they have in the lobby area they normally have little mosquito sprays for you to spray yourself and not be eaten alive they're even in front of the camera right now ah! Coming here to the Maldives, we were actually shocked how much prices range for speedboat transfers, for private speedboat transfers or uh, group speedboat transfers from uh, one island to the next. Just to give you a few examples, from Mali to another resort, Sai, which is only 15 min minute speedboat ride. Um, transfer we paid twenty dollars round trip but the resort wanted to charge a hundred and twenty five dollars round trip coming from digura to santara island one-way speedboat transfer for the entire speedboat we paid 65 dollars and the resort wanted to charge 400 dollars for the speedboat so when coming to the maldives and trying to arrange either a speedboat transfer or just a private transfer make sure you shop around you can contact even uh, hosts in Airbnbs from the island that you're visiting and ask if they know anyone who has a speedboat and who can provide a transfer. Maybe call dive shops, they know each other, the island is small, so uh, they all use WhatsApp. Really just contact different people and ask how much they charge. But keep in mind, resorts and hotel prices will always be higher. So if you can, can contact anybody from a regular shop or from an Airbnb or from uh, an excursion, just contact them and ask them for a contact somebody that they know that have a speedboat and can have a range of transfer for you. This way you can really compare the prices. If you've been watching our videos on the Maldives, which we've published a lot of videos of things you need to know about the Maldives, you probably heard us say plus plus a lot. Let us explain what plus plus really means. Yes, you will encounter this in the Maldives a lot, in the resorts, even some restaurants, some tours. You will see the price and then it would say plus plus. So the first plus stands for taxes and the second plus stands for gratuity. So it's all included, plus taxes, plus gratuity. That's it. So the plus plus automatically gets added to your final bill. Keep in mind, when visiting local islands, cash is king. But not all local islands have ATMs. We're lucky enough that here on Digora, they do have an ATM, so we're able to take cash out. But also, sometimes the ATM machine is down or it's out of cash. So you have times where you need cash and you do go to the ATM if it's available, 
but it's down and that's just local life here in the Maldives so what we do highly recommend is get cash when you arrive at Male which is the international airport there are um, cash machines there so get your cash there and then head out to the local islands where you know you're going to be covered because you have enough cash with you and if you are staying in Male for a, a night or two or maybe even longer before coming to a private island just know they have banks and ATM machines all through Male so you'll be fine or Hulu Mali for that matter and if you'd like to see what Male looks like and how busy it is we did a complete walking tour so the link will be in the description make sure you check that video out this is what maldives is known for crystal clear water look at that you want to just drink this water it is gorgeous But when it comes to sink water, it is yellow and it is like this in all different resorts that we stayed and different boutique hotels as well. All the water in the Maldives is desalinated and it is just slightly salty sometimes. It has a funky smell and always yellow color like this. And also it looks funny in the toilet because the toilet looks like it was used but it's not because the water is yellow color. So it is not recommended to drink water out of the tap. It's always bottled water and I also use bottled water to brush my teeth because I learned my lesson if you know what I'm talking about. What you need to know coming to the local island is that businesses actually have certain hours of operation depending on the prayer. So they do not open throughout the day. They actually open for a few hours, then they close, then they open for a few hours again. And we always have a hard time figuring out when they'll be open and well when they will be closed but a good indication to know when they're open is actually lots of slippers outside because before you walk into a store you have to remove your shoes so less sand gets into the store so cool oh my goodness <laughs> how many cats are all around me i'm in heaven i'm in cat paradise the funniest thing about the Maldives they have so many cats but dogs are literally not allowed on the island there is a law not to have any dogs on the island you are not allowed to bring them on the plane or anything like that but cats no problem <laughs> and they're all so cute hi kitty kitty Just like limited store hours of operations, restaurants on the local islands also have limited times of operations. So for example, lunch is from 12 to 2.15 and dinner is only from 6 p.m. till 8.45. So if you miss the hours of operations, well, you would have to wait for the next one. And just like that, a little over two hours and we have arrived in Mali from Digora. Now just keep in mind, we made three stops, really short stops. But yeah, we're here as quick as that. We've taken speedboats from here to other islands as well. And it was kind of choppy coming on this boat. This boat was really fast and it was super smooth. So smooth, we actually fell asleep. But this might not be the case during the rainy season. The winds and the seas might be really rough. So sometimes they even cancel seaplanes during rainy season and speedboats because it's not safe. So it's not necessarily that it happens often. It's just it might happen. So keep it in mind. If you found this video useful, informative or entertaining, please click like. It will help us a lot and share this video with anyone you know who is planning to come to the Maldives. We thank all our members for supporting our channel and if you would like to contribute consider becoming a member or just click that hard button below this video. Thank you so much for watching and as usual just, just be, be out, out with us. us. Cheers.